Tonight, a new development in the ongoing search for seven-year-old Kyron Horman, who vanished from its elementary school more than two years ago, a case that garnered national attention for the first time in legal documents. Somebody is now calling Kyron's stepmother, Terry Horman, a prime suspect in little Kyron's disappearance. And tonight, in an exclusive interview, I will get reaction from none other than Kyron's father, Kane Horman. This very sad saga, this mystery, began June 4th, 2010. When little Kyron vanished from his school's science fair, Kyron's stepmom, Terry Horman, had brought Kyron to school that day, but the little boy never made it to class somehow. Kyron's parents never knew anything was wrong until Kyron didn't come home on the school bus that afternoon. At first, Kyron's parents, who were divorced and both remarried, appeared to be united in their search for Kyron, uh, standing side by side at the news conference. But that would be the only time they would appear together. And now it's come to this. I believe that Terry Horman knows where Kyron is. I believe that Terry Horman is responsible for where my son is. Kyron's biological parents both believe that Terry Horman had something to do with their son's disappearance, although she has never been charged. Okay, I believe that there's some form of involvement. I don't know what to, lo to what level it could be directly involved and she and she's responsible and she acted alone that day or someone else is involved either with her or even maybe potentially without her in light of something not breaking coming forward quickly this this is going to be a marathon not a sprint this could go on for two three four years potentially without closure cops gave terry horman two polygraphs they searched the house and her vehicle and they told the public they doubted that this was a stranger abduction then court documents revealed terry was allegedly plotting to kill her husband kane horman with a gardener she'd been sexting with while young car kyron was missing throughout all this saga one thing remained constant terry horman never spoke out about kyron's disappearance she never defended herself even 